Good evening, everybody. It's Hello. almost 7 p.m. and we finally made it to St. Louis, Missouri. Yep, yep. We wanted to go see the monument that's behind us, but it's mm -hmm. closed for a private event this evening. And what is it, baby? It's the St. Louis Arch. Check it out. Here it is. It's it looks such really a pretty, pretty day. right now. Yeah, such a it pretty is. day. Such a pretty night. Yeah. It is. So we're here for a couple nights. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have uh, some things we're going to hit up mm -hmm. on this trip, which is the Budweiser tour. Yes. Uh, St. Louis barbecue. Barbecue. Mm -hmm. And that arch. Yes. Yeah, so we're going to come check that out tomorrow. Yes. So we're on our way right now to go to Sugar Fire Barbecue. Yes, that's we're our hungry. first first St. Louis barbecue. Yeah, we, didn't, we only ate breakfast this morning, so yeah. we're hungry. I'm ready to throw down some ribs. Let's go. Let's go. Welcome to the Hotel Lumiere at the Arch. Come on in. This is a King Suite. This is like a living room area. You have a TV here, cool painting, or a picture on the wall. A little mini bar with a mini fridge. Check out the bathroom. Uh, nothing too special about the bathroom. Regular bathroom. Yeah. And here we have a king bed, uh, another TV. Where you can put your luggage right there. And a pretty and big bay window, and you can see the, uh, arch, the arch right there. Right over there. Serbia. So this is the King Suite at Hotel Lumiere at the Arch. <laughs> Sugar Fire Barbecue. That was really, really good. That was a really good meal. It was. That was a perfect start for uh, St. Louis Barbecue. Yeah. So we got two uh, full dinner plates, plus two beers, plus uh, a dessert. Um, and everything you match about 46 bucks. So it's not too bad of a price. No, not bad at all. And for, we're full. For barbecue. Yeah. Wow, I'm stuffed. Uh, we had the size. We have the coleslaw, which is really good. Mm -hmm. A little bit on the sweet side, but not as sweet as like KFC or anything like that. Um, the potato salad, you can tell it was made here. Um, okay. What else do we have, baby? Uh, the coleslaw. Oh, uh, the big beans. Yeah. On the sweet side, which we really like, it's on the sweet side. Tasted perfectly with the cornbread. It didn't come with the meal, we bought it separately, but it was perfect match right. with those baked beans. And then topped it off, our Oktoberfest beer. Yeah, Love it. perfect, perfect yeah. dinner. Okay, babe, we're gonna yeah. go we yeah. sleep now, right, yep. baby? We're gonna call it a night, and uh, we have our early day tomorrow yep. with, uh, with the Budweiser tour. Yes, we do, we yeah. drink it in the morning, you know, 10 a.m. Yep, see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Good morning. We're on our way for breakfast, but the inside of the hotel is really cool, so he's gonna take a little video of it. Yeah, it is. This uh, cool little waterfall. Waterfall behind us. Something. And there's a bunch of pots that have like little trees in it, and the pots light up. It's kind of cool. Yeah, so this is a quick mm -hmm. shot, and then we're off to breakfast. Yeah. Made it to our breakfast place? Yes. It's called Egg. It's gonna be right behind us. It's only about a 20 minute walk from here to Anheuser-Busch. That's what our tour is later today. But we're gonna catch a bite to eat so yeah. we can drink. I can see the arch, it's probably about yeah. two or three miles away. Yeah, so that's is. where we are. Yes. I got some cheesy grits. This is one of their specials. Got some cheesy grits with some amazing braised pork down here. There's the braised pork with two over easy eggs and some pickled veggies yeah there's a name for it but i don't want to screw it up i don't remember the name of this so it's i know it's a, something that you serve in the yucatan dang totally food porn shop you know the breaking the egg thing okay that looks really good right there for my breakfast i got the breakfast tostada with chorizo the chorizo under here it's one egg. Made chorizo. Yes, yeah. and we also have some um, house-made potatoes here on the side. Try it out, babe. Here we go. We're going for the uh, egg yolk break. Oh, you hear that crunch down there? That's that white flour tortilla. That crispness of that fresh tortilla on the bottom. The chorizo is mildly spicy. Man, this is a good little breakfast tortilla. First bite. First bite. Mm. 
cook perfectly. The grits are cooked perfectly. Not too cheesy, which is really good. Matches so well with this braised meat and the tomatillo sauce. You can tell everything is house made. It is so good. Wrap up of egg, I liked it. Yeah, it was very good. It tastes very homemade, which is really good. A little hole in the wall, please. Uh, the server, I'm not sure if he's the owner or something, but he is so passionate about his food. Yes, yeah, super so, nice guy. Yeah, real yeah. nice. He says, tell our friends. So, yeah. our friends, egg right behind us in St. Louis. Yeah, it's great. Uh, if you ever come for the uh, Budweiser tour and you yeah. want something to eat before. It's about a mile away yeah. from the Budweiser tour. Great place. Yeah. Now, now gonna, we can drink. Yeah, we're going to take a walk over there. It should be about a mile away. Yeah. We made it. Yes, we are here at the Budweiser tour. Mm -hmm. It's like to get the Oh, it's a video. A video. Oh, Thank you. Yeah. Uh, we are here at the Budweiser tour. It is the biggest, I think, running uh, factory that is here that we visited at least. Yeah. Uh, what else? Well, we're going to find out more information when yeah. we take the tour. Yeah, we're not big Budweiser fans, but we do appreciate this tour and what it's done for St. Louis. Huh. It's a big, uh, probably a big thingy for St. Louis. Not only St. Louis, the United States. Oh, the United These guys States, are the king yeah. of beers. Oh yeah, yeah. Totally. So yeah, our tour starts at 10.15. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna walk around and wait till then. Yeah. This is the original wagon that they had back in the day. It's kind of cool. The original? The original. First sample? Yeah. Well, I think Cheers. I got Bud Light. Cheers. The Budweiser, right? I got Budweiser. Nice and cold. Oh my gosh, that tastes much different than the bottle. It's much more fresh. Here we are going to become a fan of fresh Budweiser. <laughs> a lot better than the can in LA, yeah. babe. Can or bottle, yeah. This is much better. This place is huge. This is a cool room, though. This is where the magic takes place. It's like four stories here. And this flat iron is just like awesome looking here. Yes. Did you know Budweiser owns these brands? So we are a fan of Budweiser because yeah. this is what we drink right here. Wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. A snake, it looks like, of all those bottles moving. They actually bottled this this morning at 2 a.m. And we are going to see one. So our day fresh tour comes with a free pint? Yep. Cheers, babe. Cheers, babe. This is a what, Michelob Amber Bob, Amber in case you're wondering why it's so dark. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's, it's good nice beer. Nice and fresh. Mm -hmm. Really, really cold. It is. And we're going to try to down these even though they're warm because we can't take them off point. That's okay. Some countries serve warm beer. They do. So you can see how good it is, right? Yeah. So this is the one that was packaged for us at 2 o'clock this morning, so it's very fresh. Yeah, they when opened it for us. They opened it for us here since we can't travel with it. And it doesn't smell like beer. It's like, it smells like barley. Interesting. Yeah, huh? I'm, try, I'm gonna try it warm and see. Wow, it just tastes really good warm. It tastes very light. It's much different than what we get at home. I almost like it warm better than cold. <laughs> but she gave us a glass of ice, but it tastes really good warm. Really? Yeah. I would try it out. First time ever, one day old, less than one day old Budweiser. Yeah. yeah, very light. It does not taste like the regular Budweiser. Yeah, tastes good warm though, haven't it? Yeah, it's kind of weird. Wow. Yeah, a lot different than what you get in stores. Over ice, it tastes like carbonated water. Very slight, slight barley taste, not a hoppy taste. Very slight barley taste. It doesn't taste. taste like beer. No, it doesn't taste like beer at all. Uh, it's really carbonated water. You can doubt this thing. It's dangerous. Yeah. Actually, it hardly has any taste. It's really water. It's interesting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What? I'm feeling my booze. <laughs> Let's do some drunk shopping. Hey, baby, you know Budweiser has some balls. Really? Golf balls. Who's drunk more, me or him? Look, baby, a cheers paddle. 
I like it. Yeah, so it's behind this picture. That hurts. <laughs> so a little wrap up of uh, uh, Anheuser Busch Budweiser tour. Yes, it was a very, very good tour. It was a lot of fun. It costed. Uh, it was ten dollars per person, and that was for the day fresh tour. They have yes. a lot of different tours, but but that's the one we took. Mm -hmm. And it included the two samples that we had, and the sixteen pint of beer, and a free um, glass or glass bottle, bottle. of beer that yeah. uh, was made like the two a.m. in the morning. I think we mentioned that. Very good. Oh my yeah. gosh, that beer again. We explained it, and it was a really good one, but. We don't carry, uh, we don't check in baggages, so we couldn't carry it with us. So we yeah. drank it there. So it was and so good. Just like we mentioned, we're not huge fans of Budweiser, yeah. but we definitely appreciate this giant brewery over yes, here. Yes, yes. Yeah, a lot we of history. To, we went to Asahi Baby. We went to the one in Amsterdam, with As uh, Anakin in Amsterdam. This is by far the biggest, oh, the yeah, biggest it, tour. It's huge. Yeah. It's huge. Very, very detailed. Even our tour, our $10 tour, very detailed. You got to see the Clydesdale horses. It's a pretty awesome tour. I would definitely come back and, uh, well, if I had visitors, if we do come back, maybe do it again, huh, baby? That was a you pretty good cool tour. You never know. You never know. Now, just 10 minutes away from Budweiser is Bush Stadium. That's where we're that's at where now. That's where we are now. And uh, they're not playing today, but they do have stadium tours. And that's what we're going to take. Yeah. This is the first World Series trophy ever issued. It's kind of cool. And the Cardinals won. Yeah. Here we are. This is the highlight. We're actually on the stadium of where they play. Yeah, we're on the field right yeah. here, right? Mm -hmm. Or we're in the stadium, but yeah, we're on the field. <laughs> we made it to the arch, so we're gonna see if it's open and see if we can take a tour. It should be. Yeah. I see people down there. To the top. That's what it looks like, little windows. Mm -hmm. What do you think, babe? This is pretty cool. It's pretty high. I like these because you can actually go to the windows and look down. And it's really cool. Yeah, you gotta do this. It's only 12 bucks per person. Yeah, 12 dollars per person. Yeah. Right? How was that? That was wild. Yeah. That was pretty cool. It was scarier going up from here and coming down. Yeah, they said it took four minutes to go up and three, three minutes, minutes to come, to come down. down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And these are the steel walls. This is a leg. Steel plates. Yep. That's what, that's what it sounds like. <laughs> it's major. It's pretty cool. You got to do it. It is. Yeah. Again, only 12 bucks a person for adults. Yeah, people. it's worth it. Uh, discount for kids. I think um, if you have, they said if you have a park pass or something, it's free or something like that. Could so. be. It is, it is a lot more impressive when you're here in person and yeah. you look up. It's, it's huge. It's humongous. It is. Ready for some barbecue now? It's barbecue time. Barbecue time. Made it to Pappy's Smokehouse. Yep, this is the second one that people have asked or told us to try was mm -hmm. Pappy's Smokehouse. We're here in, I don't know, three miles away from the arch, just so, right, baby? Yeah, yeah. it's about three miles, yeah. yeah. So we're going to see how this stacks up against Sugar Fire. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You ready? Ready, babe. Okay. A wrap up of Pappy's Smokehouse. Yeah, both of them were very good. Pappy's and where we Sugar did Fire. Sugar, Sugar Fire. Fire yesterday. Both places are very good. Uh, comparison. Pick one. Pick one. Hard to decide. Uh, yeah. I'm full, baby. Are we yeah. done? We're full. I think yeah. uh, we're going to call it in early. Yes. And we have a lot to do tomorrow. Yeah, we have an early flight tomorrow, but we're yeah. not going straight home. No, we're well, not. We'll close it in the morning at yeah, the airport. Yeah, we will. See you in the morning. Good morning. Good morning. morning. We're back in uh, St. Louis Airport. Yes, and uh, just like we said, mentioned last night, we are not going back to Los Angeles this morning. Yeah, uh, Los Angeles or here in St. Louis, we don't have a direct flight to go back to LA, so we have to go through another city. So we're going through Detroit. Ah, Detroit. Yeah, so we're here really early because we're gonna spend our day in Detroit. Mm, and yes. then we're going home. Yeah, there are some foodie adventures we wanna do in Detroit. Yeah, there right? is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, it's um, about 5 a.m. Yeah. right now, mm -hmm. and we should be in Detroit a little after 9 a.m. Yes. 
Yes. So we we rented a car yeah. and we're gonna go tour Detroit yes. for about six hours, six oh, seven hours. Plenty, yeah. plenty yeah. of time. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, thanks for watching our St. Louis mm -hmm. foodie and sightseeing adventures. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of fun. Yes, we did. Yeah, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. In or Detroit. In Detroit.